The John Morris Show, episode 111. In this episode, where to start in learning web development. The John Morris Show. Your life on code. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Morris. Hey everybody, welcome back to The John Morris Show on johnmorrisonline.com. So I got this question the other day on YouTube. Can you guide me on what to do first? I'm a cl- complete beginner at web development. Now, do you hear the frustration in that like I do? Now, it could just be me projecting given my own past with learning web development, but I always sense this hint of frustration when I get questions that are like this. It's kind of like, somebody just please tell me what I need to learn. At least, that's kind of how I read it. Now, what most people do at this point is drop some massive list of skills that you need to learn on you. But I happen to think that that's the wrong approach. So let me do something different and tell you what not to do, which is don't do what I did and what I, frankly, I believe so many other developers do that trips them up and causes them to quit. And I always wonder a little bit about those people who gave up, what they would have created, what kind of lives they might had. It's kind of sad if you think about it. Anyway, when I started, I believed that there was this master list of skills that I needed to learn in order to be considered a real developer. And I didn't spend much time thinking about what it was that I really wanted and what I wanted to get out of my future web development career. I was too focused on being good enough and not focused enough on what it was that I wanted. And so that caused me to just dive right into learning a whole bunch of different random things. And I really didn't have any sort of real plan. So, yeah, don't do that because five years later, I still hadn't learned PHP to a point where I felt comfortable getting paid to write it. And truthfully, I felt stupid. Nothing had ever taken me so long to learn, but PHP had just kind of eluded me. So, again, don't do that. As Stephen Covey says in his Seven Habits of Highly Successful People, what you want to do is begin with the end in mind. Now, you might be wondering what that means. Well, I believe that a web development career for most of the people that get into it is mostly about lifestyle. That they're really after meaning primarily and importance. And they wanna do something of significance. They want ultimately to matter. And that's what's primary to them. Now, yes, They want to get paid too, but usually getting paid is a secondary, not the primary. And they also tend to not like to be told what to do. I know I happen to be that way, which is kind of ironic given the initial question that started off this episode. But I think we can all just kind of say that we have a slight hesitance with authority. And that's why our field also attracts so many know-it-alls who like to troll around the web telling everybody how stupid they are (laughs) as they themselves slam Cheetos in good old mommy's basement. Needless to say, we think we're pretty smart. And the truth is, most of us actually are. But a lot of times, not for our own good. (laughs) Now, the reason that I say all of this stuff and bring this up is because the answer to your question won't make you feel smart or superior to everybody else. Because the reality is, it's really pretty dang simple. Pick an end product that you enjoy building, that others want, learn only the skills required to build that end product, and then blast the interwebs with your marketing in order to get hired to build it. Definitely not rocket surgery. (laughs) So you don't get a feel better than everybody else because you memorize some obscure PHP function that you might use twice in your career or talk about or get a brag about back in my day we used to or gloat about counting in binary. You don't get into any of that stuff, but you will get your career going much faster. And you will get 
the lifestyle and get paid to do what you love much, much faster. And you will start being able to work on things that are that matter and have that significance much, much faster. Now, I'll go back to the example I used a few days ago, simple online forms. Now, learning how to build a form won't win you the smartest developer in the history of mankind award, but it is pretty dang lucrative. Now, like I had said in that episode, uh, Wufu Forms, which helps build people build online forums, sold for $35 million to SurveyMonkey. And SurveyMonkey itself does $113 million a year and is valued at $1.35 billion. And it is all just simple online forms. So to get started, just pick something, some sort of end result that you want to create for clients. It could be forms, it could be membership sites, it could be bootstrap websites, whatever it is. Master only the skills absolutely necessary to deliver that end product and then start marketing like a boss. Then over time, add a few other deliverables to your arsenal as you go. So they have more services to offer. And voila, congratulations, you are now a web developer. My point is, don't overthink it. That's the big thing. Now, of course, if it's a PHP career that you're after, then I've got the master list for you already. It's a very small but foundational set of PHP skills that will catapult you out of the gate of your career. And even better, as a bonus, it'll teach you how to build the aforementioned forms if you want to get your hands on some of that particular market. You can learn what these skills are and learn all of them all at johnmorrisonline.com slash php. All right, everybody, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks again for listening. If you like this episode, be sure to like it so that I know that you like this kind of content. If you know somebody who'd benefit from hearing this, I'd appreciate if you'd share it with them. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so that you never miss an episode. Thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you next time.